What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one today. That's what she said. No, just a quick one today. Honestly, the worldwide player of the weeks. I'm not going to spend too much time on these cards. Honestly, I don't feel that there's a need because uh, these cards, in my opinion now, unless you're playing the game, I keep saying this every week, every week I say this, unless you're playing this game a week or a couple of weeks and you're barely playing, these cards are kind of like a luxury, a novelty uh, now with the Player of the Weeks. When you look at Brazil and you look at some of the other cards, even the free nominating contracts and the highlight cards that they're given, lads, I mean, these are free. You're going to be able to get these simply by logging in to the game and the Player of the Weeks don't really compare to them. You've got Marquinhos, you've got Danilo, you've got your two centre-back and a right-back pair, and you've also got a left-back that you're going to be getting. So you've pretty much got a back four, apart from having somebody else there. You've got an attacking midfielder and a CF. Now, obviously, Pedro isn't that good. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's not going to be it. But you can buy, you know, GP uh, Mbappe or any of the golden boys here. We'll get into all of those in a little bit. But we are going to focus very, very briefly on these Player of the Weeks. Now, again... That's not to say that you could get Tony Cruz or Pabard and absolutely dominate with him and be beast with him. That's, that goes without saying. But I'm talking about for the average player that has a couple of legends, that's been playing the game for a while, that has a couple of epic players or boosters, or is comfortable with their squad and is trying to either A, have fun, or B, go up rank. So there's two kind of systems there at the moment. Now, Davies is definitely a big shout if you missed out on the older Davies. Um, he's got 99 speed. Of course, that's going to get the manager boost. It's going to go over 99. Acceleration is going to be 96 with the manager boost. And you are going to have balance at 85 and dribbling at 87, which is nice. His tight possession is not great if you are looking to dribble a lot. I'm going to be doing a live stream later. I hope you guys check it out. Or maybe I'm already streaming by now or have already streamed. So thanks for checking out. Um... But I do feel like with this Davies card, he is missing a couple of bits and pieces. Now, he does have good dribbling skills. He also has long-range shooting and pinpoint crossing, which is a nice combo if you are looking to play him left wing or left midfield. I would probably play this guy as a Roberto Carlos-esque type player. He doesn't have massive defense, but he's just so fast and mobile and versatile and is a brilliant outlet if you are just able to get the ball out to his wing. That's probably where I'd go with him, right? Of course, for every Davies with these Player of the Week, you are going to have a couple of players that are just not really at the races in terms of their stats, even if they play above their stats. You're not really going to give these guys too much of a look, right? So this guy is re very, very poor player skills. He does have interception, but he doesn't have blocker. Not bad, but you can't give him any player skills. None of these cards can be trained or retrained or anything like that. Uh, Gaz Gazaninga as well, this guy. Just your typical goalkeeper. Now, his awareness and reflexes go over 90, so it's not the worst uh, keeper in the world. But he doesn't have long throw, which is a bit of a bust on me. And his jumping and his reach is not over where it needs to be for a goalkeeper that's under 190 cm. Just something to keep in mind. He's definitely usable, especially for newcomers or anything like that, uh, for kind of mid to early game. Uh, you also have another left back here, not worth talking about, even though he's got a lot of player skills. The only thing I like about this guy is his variety in player skills and positioning. So you have double touch, long range curler, shooter, a one touch pass with true passing, but he also has outside curler, low lofted and interception. So it's a very unusual card uh, for this guy here. Um, it's an okay card. I mean, he doesn't have any amazing stats that go over 90 apart from stamina and lofted pass. So that kind of steers you where you need to play him. We also have one of my favorite players from Pez 2021 in my club, a Burkhaus. This guy is an absolute gem of a dribbler but he's down as a whole player here he can play a load of different positions i use plug him in as a utility man excellent player skills still translate over to eFootball. he's had a couple of decent cards he is missing a couple of player skills though even though he's one touch pass and acrobatic finishing he doesn't have um ball roll unlocked with flip flap or soul control but the rest of his stats are quite decent man they're pretty decent acceleration and speed a bit mid and then obviously you've got your low pass and your lofted pass that are going to be quite high um for the stats that he has i would definitely play this guy as a attacking midfielder uh, with the stats and the skills he has we have coco Coca-Cola here as well. Too slow for a box-to-box, -box, in my opinion, even though they've changed the speed quite a bit. He has one-touch pass. He has low-lofted pass and weighted pass, but he also has fighting spirit and, inter and interception, which is quite decent for a box-to-box, -box, let's be honest. Passing is all this guy really does. He's kind of like a more mobile version um, of these orchestrators, but he's down as a box-to-box. -box. That's because of his aggression and tackling. That's probably why he is a box-to-box. -box. Good stamina, good passing, good dribbling. 
bad speed and that's probably where the killer is with him but he's on unwavering form and these players are all on a rating now as for the boosters right so we have got a center forward sarlaw this guy is 90 physical contact with the booster he's going to go to 93 that's going to be 95 with the manager boost speed is actually quite decent he's actually got plus three in the physicality jump and physical contact balance and stamina and then of course he's got some really nice player skills heading acrobatic finish or sorry yeah acrobatic finishing and aerial superiority is always nice for a center forward if you don't have collar or if you don't have a player that can actually win you the ball in the air it's amazing to have an outlet ball um you are coming up against 90 percent of squads that will literally have three center forwards or three attacking players uh messi neymar romario any of those they're all going to be quite short so you don't really have an outlet in the air it has to go to feet if you come up against somebody that is used to defending that you need a second plan b so i think that collar is the man for that and this guy is a, is kind of an alternative to that we also have this guy terrier um who's down as a center forward again just an average enough deep line forward made a little bit better by the fact that he does have super sub one touch pass heading and long range shooting with rising shot and chip shot control and long range curler very nice skills and stats finishing is 90 acceleration and speed 85 86 if you've got uh, 10 hag for the speed it's a decent card man but these cards are not going to scratch the itch you you have to get the top top players we also have pavard who's probably the pick of him with his boosters so he gets a boost to his defending plus three when he's on b rating or above maximum effects at a rating which he is this week so just don't get caught with that in case you're thinking oh pavard is a beast because he's on a farm this week if his form goes down these stat boosts will go down as well jumping defensive awareness and tackling all going to be over 90 aggression and defensive engagement pretty solid as well and then of course speed and acceleration which i quite like are very nice as well heading is a little bit low but i would definitely only be playing him as the cb not as a right back a lot of people would play him right back i wouldn't he's too slow for that position now and then rounding it off we have the cataler who's down as a ss whole player but can play a cf amf or ss inconsistent form is a bit of a bummer on this guy he does have one touch pass and low lofted but he doesn't have way to pass for the area that he's going to be in you don't really need way to pass but sometimes it unlocks a couple of different animations so just keep that in mind he also has trickster here as well as double touch and outside curler he's an okay card he doesn't have much finishing he's all about passing and he doesn't have much speed balance or physicality so yeah but he is unusual because he's one he's so tall as an attacking midfielder kind of like kaka but just not as good and then last but not least we have tony tony cruz so what we talked about with uh, coca-cola earlier uh, from atletico madrid this guy gets plus three to his passing which is going to bring it into the ridiculous like you're going to have 96 low pass straight off the rip orchestrator tony cruz he's he's okay man i mean a lot of the passing at the moment now i think with v3.3 they have switched it up a little bit with the pass assists if you play on the manual pass assist or level three pass assist you are going to see more noticeable passing into space by guys that have over 90 uh, low stat or low stat low pass stats and also if they've got weighted pass and low lofted pass um it's always nice to spray that ball around he's got every stat and skill that you could possibly want as an orchestrator he's just a little bit too slow now he does um in fairness have his speed at 70 uh, and his acceleration at 72 but uh, yeah i mean this is kind of like a kind of a real luxury item if you're looking to unlock a defense the passing game doesn't really reward that sort of passer in the game at the moment that tony cruz style the Bruyne style you need a little bit of mobility as well so listen it's just a quick video on the player of the week of course you can get your free one in the events as well if you play the events you get a free spin so it is probably worth a pop even if you've got a god squad for me i'm going to be going all in for a mario you guys will probably have seen the live stream by now but if not if we're not live yet we will be going all in for a mario so hope to see you guys in the stream either today or friday and uh, we will test out a lot of stuff that is it for me i'll talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe lads let's get it man and we'll talk to you in a bit